guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I'm Mike. I'm Jay. Halloween fucking kills update. It just keeps coming at you. It just keeps one. coming at you. It's the biggest news ever, okay? Listen to this. Halloween Kills features Michael Myers as the main killer. <gasps> <laughs> no! I thought he was You're dead and gone. spoiling son of a bitch. Shit. Yeah, I thought the fire department didn't bail him out, but they did, oh, and fuck. he survived it. They actually, Look, that was that was actually. Did you see that? Somebody said that uh, the reason why Michael Myers survived is because the fire department put out the flames. <laughs> <laughs> and then he kills the fire department. Yeah. That would be, That'd be cool actually. I would be into that. That's a cool scene. I, yeah. I like the way that sounds. Yeah. But no, here's the news, and it's not good. You're not gonna enjoy it. You're not gonna like it. It's like that scene in 300 when he when he had. It. He's like, you will not enjoy this. Yeah, it's like sex with us. Like the backseat of a Volkswagen. Uh, you're not gonna like the news that we have today. So Jason Blum had an AMA today. And uh, the only thing he said about Halloween Kills was basically somebody asked about the trailer, as you knew they would, because we're all fucking wondering, like, poster or trailer, something, goddamn, please! Yeah, he's probably getting tired of that. It's like, it's the special back. It's the special back, like that annoying customer that goes to a diner. It's like, hey, it's the special back. I really want the Here soup of the, the day. It's like, fish. motherfucker, we haven't had that shit in two months. <laughs> it's like me going to Hardy's asking for the jalapeno burger. Oh, why? When's going to be my time? Why? Why, God? When's going to be my when time, God? Why? When did that happen? But uh, he said, look, he, he Can said... Can I get the McRib at McDonald's? <laughs> he said, Jason Blum said in the AMA, basically he said, we're not going to release anything mm -hmm. until we know for a fact how... And when it's gonna come out. Smart man. I like that. It's, it's, I hate it! It's neutral. It's not like. It, you know, basically, that, that's saying, like, shut the fuck up. We'll release it when we need to release it, okay? <laughs> shut the fuck up and dance! Yeah, that's it. Like, go ahead and pull out your titty tassels and, and, and dance around. <laughs> the, I like that, though, because, you know, look, we've had multiple debates on here about the VOD versus the theater releases. Yeah. And, and the thing is, Jason Blum doesn't wanna uh, oversell his hand. Like, if it's like playing poker, you don't wanna fucking oversell it. Like, ha <laughs> ha! Is two aces good or no? You don't want to do that. I think what he's waiting on is to see, and it's honest, he wants to see how Tenet does. I think a lot of these studios and, and movies that are, are, are slated for this year are waiting to see how Tenet does. If Tenet shows a lot of interest and surge in the in the theater business, they'll be like, oh, we're more comfortable releasing it. And I think that Jason Blum at this point is, is going to be like, I'd rather take a step back, breathe a little bit, and then check it out and see what happens. Yeah. Because why would you, like, here's the thing, if you got this great movie coming out, Halloween Kills is going to be the most sexual, spectacular thing probably ever that you've ever seen, okay, next to your life being born in front of you. What? Hey, Michael, how's your sister? Oh. But it, but he he wants to make sure that a, a great movie. They've all worked really hard on everybody. The, you know the cast, the crew, and and he knows there's super Halloween fans out there. He wants to make sure that if he sells the date in October, that it's an actual concrete thing, because if he releases the the uh, teaser too early. And it, it, you know, it promises October, and you know, God forbid something bad happens, yeah. and we can't have it. You know, if Sharona comes back and bites us in the in the taint holes, then you look like a you look like an asshole. Like, and then people will be bitching at him, blowing his Twitter up. Well, and then and then the, and then the the whole excitement about it dies. right it does yeah. and that's the thing like okay so i understand it and i know everybody's wanting it and i know everybody wants the trailer and they want the stuff like that but we're in it we're in a different time now uh what interests me what, about what he says is that it's about when and how mm -hmm. so like i want to get the official date and i've said this a hundred times look if, if halloween for some reason can't release in october it's definitely in my mind you heard it for here first on MTV News with Kurt Loder. Love that guy. Gonna release a, an entire year later. Because here's the thing. They're not only worried about Halloween Kills, mm. they're worried about Halloween Ends. And because of COVID and them having to push back and filming's hard to do right now. Did you feel smart when you said COVID? COVID. <laughs> it makes you feel like an umbrella scientist from Resident Evil. If they have, COVID if they have to push back Kills... They're going to push back an entire year because they want it to release in October because it's a Halloween movie. Right. And if they push back kills, then that eases their tension on, on having to film ends because now we can push back ends a whole nother year. That being said, though, I don't think it's time for too much worry and too much concern because here's the thing. Like you said, Tenet is still scheduled to come out. New Mutants is still scheduled to come out. M Mulan. Wonder Woman. Mulan. <laughs> Mul M is it Mulan? No, dude. Yeah, M Mulan. Mulan. Yeah, I swear, you said Mulan. It's like, you like them cookies? <laughs> Have you ever been to Black Friday and like, uh, you know, kill an old lady to get Milan cookies that Cookie are half off? Woman. <laughs> but look, 
like the, the movie's scheduled to come out in October, mm -hmm. right? So I think the movie's safe sitting in October. The only well, question you have to have is, are we gonna have enough time to market it? So if, if we're gonna wait until we can for sure, absolutely know for a fact we're gonna have that date, the only thing that makes me scared of my cha-chas at night Ooh. is they're going to go, okay, well, the movie could release in October and we could still have that date, but we're not going to have enough time to market it. So we're just going to go ahead and push it back because then that gives us a year to push back ends. And that's the scary thing for me. That being said, again, all these movies are scheduled to release in August, September, October right. already. They're already there. So there's no reason really to push back Halloween Kills when... Pretty much right now, October's a safe date, unless there's a huge second wave of the Sharona. But <clears throat> that's what and I'm then saying. You're fucked. That's what I was saying. And I, you, like again, you don't want to oversell your position, and that's what he's trying to do. Yeah. He's trying to be smart about it, and I think that's a very neutral statement. It's also pretty much underlined, like shut the fuck up and cover your mouth. Like he, it's like he's like when you sneeze on someone, like in the Dane Cook, it's like, hey, uh, cover your fucking mouth when you say, uh, God bless you. But you mean cover your fucking mouth. It's kind of like the same thing. Like, he's tired of probably being asked about it. Look, he's like, we have it done. It's incredible. It's exciting. Everybody's going to love it. But we want to make sure that when we release it, we can promise a date that we can hold to. If yeah. we do that, or we lose a lot of trust. And and you, you right. mentioned it, the energy for the, the film. Look, uh, I think, and, and, you know, it, it's, it would be shitty. It would be fucking terrible if, you know, something, you know, Sharona comes back and, and, and tidal waves us. But... Uh, you look at uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife. I'm extremely fucking excited to see Ghostbusters Afterlife. I really want to see it. I think it's going to be good. I, I, I love what Reitman's, uh, you know, his Jason Reitman, what he's doing. Is it Jason Reitman? Yeah. Yeah. He's doing a great job. But, you know, he said recently, he said, uh, you know, because it's now 2021, that as a director, he's able to sit back and look at it better and, and see the film and like maybe make changes, maybe little edits here and there that would be good. Which sometimes George Lucas sets in and you fuck up your own movie. Well, if Jar Jar comes in, we're fucked. But at the same, it, it's good and bad. But I mean, if yeah. it gets pushed back a little bit, you know, a couple of months or maybe next year. There is no couple of months. There is no choice. It, it comes out in October of 2020 or October of 2021. You heard it here. Did you hear that, Jason Blum? If you don't do it, Michael show up in your bedroom with a kitchen knife and show butt you. fuck your dog. <laughs> Do you have one? The big question to me, dude, is is when he says the how and the or, or the when and the how. Mm -hmm. That again, we're also you got to remember we're in a place right now where Universal and AMC haven't exactly made up yet. They need to kiss. There's not a for sure thing because, uh, as you all know, AMC said they're not going to show any Universal movies because they got upset about the trolls thing. In my mind, that's all going to get worked out. These are two big companies. They want to make money, and they've even said before, like we're on good terms. We're sorting it out. Mm -hmm. My thing is, is that that's all up in the air right now. Uh, but in in Blum and uh, Jason Blum and Blumhouse's mind is they're still looking at the VOD. They just released. You should have left in VOD, straight mm. to VOD. And they did well. I they're think. still looking at that. So when he says the win and the how, he means we're not 100% sure how much of this is going to go to theatrical and how much is gonna, it's going to go to VOD. Now there's a lot of rumors going on the internet that. They're going to release it for two weeks in theaters and then go to VOD with it. Right. But again, that goes against everything that these theaters and these uh, studios are fighting against. The, 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 studio, the theaters don't want that. They say, no, you need to abide by the prerequisited rules that we had, which is being the, the movie has to be in theaters for this many weeks until you release it. And then that ties back into <clears throat> the Universal AMC fight. So really, we don't know. If I had to make a prediction, here's what I think is going to happen. Barring a second wind of COVID, uh, a second wave where we, we go back and we shut everything down again, which is uh, on everybody's mind, yeah. it could fucking happen. Barring what that happens, I think what we're going to get is Tanette's going to release, right? Mm. Tanette's going to be uh, one of the first big movies to go. And then as long as everything is kosher and it lands and like they don't shut down the theaters in the middle of that, I think we're going to get a fast and furious marketing campaign for Halloween Kills. It's going to come out July, maybe even August at the latest. And they're just, they're just going to push the movie hard. We're in unprecedented times. I, I would imagine that that's probably correct. Uh, but I also think that I'll go one further with you. I mm. think that they might go, and I know it's rumor right now. I know it's not actually like confirmed, but uh, I think they also might look into the fact that what Candyman might do, allowing a VOD release a a alongside the theatrical release. Which is not official yet. Yeah, it's not official. I'm not saying, but Tony Todd, you know, he's I in, think he was confused. He's in the, well, he's in the mix. Well, and he's also got a lot on his mind. Like, he's also dealing with being the Death Angel in Final Destination and Candyman. It's a busy life. But uh, I think that that's also a possibility. And, uh, you know, if they release it 
if, if Halloween comes out and it's released VOD and theatrical, meaning that if you feel safe enough as a human being to go out to the theaters and, and you know, uh, join your fellow horror mates and watch the movie, awesome, you know, good times. But there might be people out there that, that, that aren't safe or don't feel safe or they might have situations where they don't feel yeah. safe doing that and they get the option to do VOD. I don't think it would hurt them necessarily. I really don't. I think that the theater... Uh, theatric, if it was a theatrical release and a VOD alongside of one another, I think that yeah. that's a good balance. I, like, I don't really know that. I, I, don't, I don't know. I, know. I, I think that's why I don't know the issue. I don't, but, but I'm also saying I don't know the issue though. Like you know, the, these these. Actually, I do know the issue. These theatrical companies, and, and I like the theater too. Like I do, I love the theater. But the thing is, these theatrical companies are fucking greedy. They're greedy as fuck. They're corporations. They're companies that that obviously they want their time in the sun and people want to go and see if you want to see this new movie you got to come to our theater well, pay ninety five thousand dollars for fucking it's, popcorn it's the whole if you give a mouse a cookie scenario like if we start to do that, that because be, of covid then everybody's going to do it then it's going to be uh one screw's loose they're all loose it'll be anarchy well you know, I, but, I, I, but i mean but at the same time though i don't see anything wrong with having both like if an option exists that well, you can have both i don't know what the problem that's why i think a lot of people are predicting Halloween kills a release for two weeks theatrically and then go to vod but again we don't know i think at the heart of this what we really don't know is going on is you've got the universal fight with yeah. amc and you've basically got the theaters fight with the vod and they're also looking at covid a possible second wave everything's yeah. in flux and as a company they're going we don't know what the fuck to do right now we're gonna let it play out and look and you said it earlier if tanette comes out and people go see the movie yeah. and we're in august maybe the early months of august and everything's smooth they might go let's drop it let's go with it and then again this is not halloween 2018 where you're bringing back halloween after how many years yeah. halloween was a huge property just a couple of years ago it did really well so you don't really have to count on a huge marketing campaign to get halloween going again you just say halloween kills it's gonna be fucked up it's gonna be crazy i think they can market it with a short span and really throw the movie out there if you put a gun to my head fight club style in a parking lot your cereal's never gonna taste as good as it's going to tomorrow morning oh i would tell you i think halloween That's kills true. is going to release forever however many weeks i think halloween kills is going to come out on its date in theaters and i think we're going to get that and i think we're going to get a, a a fucking if that happens we still will get a trailer in late july early august remember what ryan turek said someone mentioned he was like just because Halloween 2018's trailer came out in June of last time. Does not mean that we're going to go by the sta same standards as that did. And that's good. I, and I like that. And and listen, it, it's we a, might be fine. It's a bold move, Cotton, and we'll see how it plays out. Yeah. At the, at this, at the end of the day, I feel like uh, Jason Blum is like George McFly in the Back to the Future. He's like uh, he's like a peeping Tom, and he's watching Tenet from the 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 the, uh, the tree in Back to the Future, and then he falls, it, hopefully he doesn't fall and get hit by the car. But <laughs> that's what it, like, it, it's a wait and watch game. And I think that it's not just Halloween Kills and Jason Blum, it's a lot of other studios looking and seeing how Tenet's gonna play out. Yeah. And if it, it, if it does well, and there's a lot of interest, and it's a surge of people, not the soft drink, but a surge of people, that show up at the theater, despite the fact that the social distancing thing, they really need to figure the fuck out what they're doing there, because a lot of people are confused then yes, you will have yes. the normal schedule of filming. If it doesn't work out though, and Tenet, which is a huge fucking movie, does not do well, what it should, you will see yeah. a shit ton of more interest in VOD. Two things to remember here. Um, one, when Halloween 2018 was about to come out, mm -hmm. Blum came out and, and strong handedly said, this movie's gonna release on time, or you can take my right hand, or whatever he said. Oh, yeah. He came out with a strong statement. It was like, a, it was like your father telling you, yeah. listen son, and I he, know you did wrong, yeah. but the next time you do it, I'll fuck you up. <laughs> yeah, he was like, take my hand if the movie doesn't come out on yeah. time, because of the reshoots that were happening. There's not that kind of a statement coming out from him right now. Right now he's going, we're not releasing shit until we know for sure. So that's kind of worrisome. But at the same time, look, when you do go back to the theater, whether AMC makes you or not, wear masks and yeah, protect your friends. And you can get these masks in the link below. Again, what we're saying here, guys, is basically this. Halloween Kills is either going to release on time in October or it's not going to release until 2021 in October. And then they just push ends out to 2022 in October. That would suck fucking ass. And I don't want that in my life. Nobody wants but to suck ass. Here we are. And don't be an asshole and say that you're not going to use your goddamn mask. Don't make it a whole fucking thing when the theaters open back up. And Protect be like, your friends. I don't fuck the, uh, it's not about being like whether you believe in that shit or not. It's about being goddamn courteous. Like Thank just you. fucking be courteous, Thank motherfucker. You.
Just wear a fucking mask. Like shit, I feel like I'm, now I feel like I'm actually talking to my asshole rebel child that won't listen to me. <laughs> it's listen, not. A, it's it's not. A, look, I don't want the truant truant agency called yeah. on me. You gotta go to school, okay? Turn in your fucking homework. Be polite, you yeah. piece of shit. So just do it and shut the fuck up and be good to your fellow man. That's all we gotta That's do. That's all we gotta say. Just get along. I love your fucking face. If you do the channel, click the subscribe button. Get some goddamn wham opinion. Hey, bye. I'll see you at the theater as long as you have a mask on. What are we supposed to do? Cancel Halloween? What are you gonna do on October 31st? What are you gonna do on October 31st? Here comes that white faced fucker, an asshole like no other. He's a big old piece of shit. Wants to stab your sister's tits cause he's a white faced fucker. Loomis can't recover. Dr. Challenge drunk again. Sleeping with your sister's friends. Do you wanna know about the darkness? I said, God damn. People don't know the darkness that goes inside their hearts. I said, God damn. God damn you, Michael! What are you gonna do on October 31st?